This is Project Neuroscience. Today we're talking about anatomical reference. So why is it important? Just like how a map has north, south, east, and west, anatomists have created a set of directions to describe locations in the brain. The reason it is called anatomical reference is because in most situations these terms are describing two structures relative to each other. First we have anterior, posterior, dorsal, and ventral. Anterior and posterior are a lot like front and back. So going back to describing two structures relative to each other, we can say that the frontal lobe, which is behind the forehead, is anterior to the occipital lobe, which is in the back of the cranial cavity. Dorsal and ventral are similar to top and bottom. However, because dorsal comes from the Latin dorsum, meaning back, and ventral comes from venter, meaning belly, these terms change depending on where you're looking in the body. Next we have lateral, medial, superior, inferior, basal, rostral, and caudal. Lateral and medial are pretty straightforward. Lateral structures are toward the outer surfaces of the brain on the left and right, and medial structures are toward the middle, or midline. Superior, inferior, and basal are also similar to top and bottom. Superior structures are above inferior and basal structures. Rostral and caudal, however, are a little more complicated. Rostral comes from the Latin rostrum, meaning beak, and caudal comes from coda, meaning tail. Therefore, rostral structures are toward the nose, and caudal structures are toward the base of our spine, the location of our vestigial tail. Logically, this means that the rostral caudal axis forms a curve. Because the brain is a three-dimensional object, it is necessary to describe the particular cross-section of which you are viewing. The best way to do this is to describe the anatomical plane. A mid-sagittal plane directly bisects the brain into two equal portions, from anterior to posterior and dorsal to ventral. Additionally, a sagittal plane is similar to a mid-sagittal plane. However, it bisects the brain into two unequal portions, again from anterior to posterior and dorsal to ventral. A horizontal plane bisects the brain from anterior to posterior and left to right creating a superior and inferior portion. Lastly, a coronal plane bisects the brain from dorsal to ventral and left to right. When describing two structures relative to each other, it is convenient to describe which half of the brain these structures occupy. Structures are ipsilateral if they are on the same side of the brain. Therefore, the two red dots are ipsilateral. Additionally, contralateral structures are on opposite sides of the brain. The two blue dots would therefore be contralateral. As you progress, you will notice a lot of these terms are incorporated into the names of structures, such as the ventral striatum, dorsal root ganglion, and lateral geniculate nucleus. Next time we're talking about the neuron. If you like what you saw and want to learn more about neuroscience, then hit subscribe for new videos every week.